So unless you've been living under a rock in the self-improvement space, I'm sure you have heard of the black pill. Even me myself, I've done a few black pill videos with some black pill content creators. Much like how the red pill has gotten really popular in 2019 and 2020 timeframe, so has the black pill over the past year. Now, if you don't know what the black pill is, really quickly, it basically just says that most of your dating success is determined by your genetics or the way you look. So they put a real, really high emphasis on looks and through that they believe that the most important thing you should improve in order to see more dating success is your looks in which i definitely agree i'm not gonna lie and say that looks doesn't matter however i don't think it's the only thing that does matter but anyways that's beside the point one of the most popular black pill content creators goes by the name of wheat waffles and wheat waffles himself has really made black pill not mainstream but definitely more popular amongst red pill and amongst the self-improvement space and a part of wheat waffle services he actually has a face rating service where he kind of objectively rates your face and points out the flaws and the good things and overall just gives you a rating based on how attractive he thinks you are now that's a whole another debate like should we actually listen to advice from a male perspective versus the female perspective and what actually determines your success is not necessarily a rating but is actually your success in real life and how women perceive you now despite that i do feel like some of these face ratings do give an overall objective standpoint on the things that you can improve and that you can work on even me myself i've seen multiple videos now of guys rating my face on these black pill channels and also i've seen the forum discussion oh is austin a tyrone austin that a tyrone he's got this he's got that blah 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 like i really don't care about the outside opinions because i know i know i'm the digital romeo and i have i, I have really great dating success but in this video is not to brag about my dating success however we're gonna analyze and review a face rating that i got done by wheat waffles now probably four or five months ago now i didn't get this service myself i actually got my friend to do it for me and i sent him my pictures raw and edited just straight on selfie pictures of myself for him to do it and overall we're going to view it together and i want to share my points and takes and let you know has it really affected my dating life like that and do i disagree or agree with some things so let's go ahead and get into it subscribe like the video if you're new don't forget to check out all the links down below too let's go all right, so we're gonna take this line by line. So the first thing he says, to cut straight to the point, you are an eight out of 10. Your friend is quite obviously Tyrone tier, and these are your best features. So before we move on, there is a rating system within the Black Pill and looks uh, matching community as they call themselves. And that is, you know, sub five, normie or average. Um, you have like the middle in between of like a Chad and like average, they call it like a Chad light or a Tyrone light if you're a black person. And then after that, you have the Tyrone and Chads. I think Tyrone is eight and above. So obviously I did get a pretty good rating, um, eight out of 10. I don't believe most people are nines out of tens or even 10 out of tens, especially like in our daily and real lives. So i um, very flattered by that rating. However, now let's go ahead and read what he calls some of my best features. It goes without saying your physique is excellent. You more or less have a 10-10 physique. Yeah, so obviously when it comes to my looks and my physique, my body and fitness is one of the first things I did in order to improve my looks and improve my masculinity and to improve my appearance. I started working out September 1st, 2014, so nearly a decade now. And I primarily started out with calisthenics. You guys probably have seen my whole journey on my other fitness YouTube channel and my progression through that. But I actually started out as a very, very, very skinny guy, like noodle arms, like no respect from other men, like girls just never looked at me. And I thought it was solely because of my body. And so that's one of the first things I did to improve myself. And so, you know, I wouldn't say I have a 10-10 physique, but definitely from the average perspective, including females, they definitely would agree with that. Your jawline is very well defined and forwardly grown shooting past your nasal bridge. So the thing you gotta keep in mind with black pill and looks maxing stuff is that they're very concerned about like the little, little things that you obviously wouldn't pay attention to, like how forward grown my jaw is or if my eyes are shaped a certain way. But the thing is, and what I find so interesting about this stuff is that it's these little nuances and, the, and these little subtle differences. It could be like half a centimeter of something that can make your face look completely different. So this is what he is saying right here. My jawline is well defined. I am blessed with um, a good bone structure in my jaw. 
I have an angular jaw. You probably can't tell with the beard right now, but definitely when I have it lower, you can definitely see that. Attractive eye area, good shape, positive canal tilt, narrow and hunter-like. So the eyes are definitely, definitely important when it comes to your overall looks. And the eye area is actually something that's very, very, if not near impossible to change if you don't have a good eye area. So in regards to shape, he's talking about like, just the overall shape of your eyes. I've been told my whole life that I have almond eyes. Um, a lot of my life, including before I'd known anything about Black Hill, like in middle school, high school, back when I was underweight too, girls and people always told me I had nice eyes. Now it's not about like necessarily the color of the eye, that will make it even better, but it's more about the shape of the eye and how you know positively tilted it is, negatively tilted, when you have like a negative tilt on your eyes, it, it tends to make you look like a sad puppy, but it can be overpassed with some other things. Example, big one is Drake. Drake has what's called a negative canthal tilt. And so he kind of gives that sad puppy look, but he has these other qualities about him, obviously including status, fame, and money to where women don't even really notice that. And speaking about noticing stuff, a lot of black pill and looks theory is things that we don't directly notice, but it's more on a subconscious level. Like you can almost look at somebody and instantly tell if they're attractive or if they're not. However, why are they attractive or why are they not? That's what the black pill answers. And more specifically, that's what this looks analysis tends to answer. Good facial definition, very prominent cheekbones. So I forgot the selfies that I sent with this, but based on my memory, I had a lower beard. Um, it was in natural lighting, like just on the selfie front camera, side, side, and then like a quarter angle, and then like a mirror pick of my physique. No homo. So I would say that, especially when I'm at a lower body fat percentage, I do have good facial definition, but I wouldn't say that I have very prominent cheekbones. And this could be just me being hard on myself because I've seen people with actually prominent cheekbones and I feel like I don't have that. I can have hollow cheeks, but my cheekbones don't like stand out, but that's just an analysis of myself. Good skull proportions, all third of the face are equal width. So this has to do um, with the, the width of my face, how long it is versus how wide it is. If you have a longer face, it tends to look more horseish, they say, versus a wide face tends to look more higher testosterone, yet like demeaning in a way. So you wanna try to have like a more equal sort of face and that's once again something that you really can't change. Excellent skin texture, very healthy looking skin. All right, so I actually am proud of my skin of how it has came up in the past few years. I've actually struggled with very, very bad acne in high school and also in college too. And so because of that, I was left with acne scars. Now you guys might notice it on some videos, you may not, it depends on the lighting, the angle and stuff like that. Uh, but these acne scars really have not affected my dating life at all. Sometimes I see in forums or like videos or comments even, people are like, Austin is not considered a Tyrone because he has acne scars or he, uh, acne scars is a failio or where the f is called, I, uh, like a flaw basically. And I would say out of the flaws that I do have, having acne scars more on my cheek area right here, very slightly, not really from a front facing, you can't tell, it's more when I turn my face to the side, right? But like in real life, I've never been rejected or even mentioned anything about my skin. Uh, I think that's because they're very kind of hard to notice. And I have been receiving treatments um, a few times over the past few years to fix those subtly, right? It, does, it will never be completely fixed, but they can get a lot better. And I've actually done a video on that showing uh, my chemical pill. I've gotten some laser treatments and I've also gotten microneedling. So those seem to be the most positive things in regards to my best features. Now there's also a list in regards to my flaws and it's ordered by importance. So let's go ahead and read it together. And this is the point where I really wanna hone in and let you guys know like how I personally feel about it. So number one, chin isn't forwardly projected enough. Ideally, it should be aligned with your lips. So this is actually something that I've really never noticed until this review, until other people started making face reviews on me, right? And that is like from a side angle, not from a front angle, my chin in itself doesn't project. That's what it's saying, right? It's more, I have more of a flat chin, if you can tell. Once again, this is something that I've never really noticed. However, once again, a lot of these things are subconscious. So maybe if my chin was more forwardly projected, 
I would look even more attractive, right? But it's really not that big of a deal. And I'm not sure if I would put that as number one on the flawless, to be honest. Now, a way I could fix this is simply through facial hair. As you guys see, I've actually been growing out my facial hair a lot more over the past few months. And more specifically, I've been growing out my chin hair. So I keep it more lower on the sides of my face, but I, I purposely grow out the chin hair. And that is because I can manipulate for projection if I grow out my chin hair long enough by styling it and combing it kind of forward. And it'll kind of give it that look to where it looks like there's more chin projection than what it would if I didn't have facial hair. So that's a little facial hair hack right there. Number two, too much nostril show and nose a little oversized. So you gotta keep in mind the way this is being viewed and how beauty in itself is viewed. It's viewed from something called a Eurocentric beauty standard, meaning Caucasian and white. They pretty much set the beauty standard. And if you don't have features that kind of fall in line with that, they will be seen as flaws. Example, African-Americans. We tend to have broader noses. We tend to have thicker skin, more oily skin. We also tend to have more forwardly grown sort of mandibles, right? So with that being said, these will be seen as flaws for Eurocentric beauty standards, which is like the highest beauty standard there is as of now. But if I was to go to Africa or if I was to go to somewhere where there's a highly dense African population or even African-American population, most people wouldn't consider that a flaw because everybody has it, you know what I mean? So um, I really don't look into things like that too deeply uh, when it comes to like my phenotype and my race and characteristics of my race. Number three, forehead should be slightly more backwards sloping. Yours is near vertical at the brow ridge. This is something I actually don't agree with and I'll tell you why. And that is because based on my inferences and me taking pictures all the time, I've actually noticed that I, I, I kind of do have a sloping forehead. Like, I'm not sure if you can tell. It's not like a crazy slope. Like Chris Brown, Chris Brown has a crazy slope on his forehead, just to give you guys a more example of how that looks like. But me, myself, I wouldn't say that my forehead is vertical, like flat, you know what I mean? I, I definitely have more of a brow ridge. And I know this because I can stand in the shower and literally with my eyes open underwater and the water just falls off my brow ridge or even when I'm in the sun taking pictures, it casts like a big shadow around my eyes because of my brow ridge. So I wouldn't say that it isn't sloping enough. If anything, of all the things I like about myself, I actually like my forehead because I don't have a protruding forehead, you know, with bone protruding in my forehead, it's more flat. And if anything, that's almost like damn near concave when I feel it <laughs> in my bone. So not a big deal for me. Little bit of sclera show. So once again, I did not notice this about myself until I got these analysis of myself and my face. And what sclera show is, is when you look at something or whatever, and you have a little bit of white underneath your pupil or the, the area, the color of your eye, like there's white showing, right? So that's what sclera show is. I don't always have sclera show. It depends on how I'm, I'm looking, if my eyes are wide, if my eyes are squinted, if I'm looking more up, if I'm looking more down. It really depends on these factors. I've seen legit sclera show or people with legit sclera show to when they're looking at all interv intervals and they have like the white showing underneath their eye. It's kind of weird to have like something so subtle as that is considered unattractive or like not attractive, you know? And I made this analysis versus uh, looking at other people. <laughs> That's another thing with the black field, man. If you get too deep into this look stuff, not only will you start noticing things about yourself you never noticed before, but you actually start looking at other people and like noticing the flaws about them. Like, oh, this, this dude has like a negative penatal tilt. Oh, this dude, his chin isn't projected. Or this, this guy has sclera show. Like it's weird, man. Like, and um, I hate that about myself now. I, after knowing so much about looks theory and all this stuff, uh, personally, once again, sclera show or a little bit in my case has not been a big deal. And then number five, cheekbones could be a little bit more forward grown. This is going back to what I said in point number four, and they kind of contradict themselves, right? Good facial definition, very prominent cheekbones, but five as a flaw, cheekbones could be a little more forward grown. I, I, I don't have forwardly grown cheekbones. I don't know what to tell you. In order to fix that, I would either have to get fillers, which I'm not doing, or something else. I don't even, I really don't even know. But um, yeah, not a big deal. I think prominent cheekbones looks good for sharp faces and modelistic faces if you want like a certain angle. 
for that to look that way, right? But overall, hasn't been a big deal. So those were my best features and my worst features, according to Wheat Waffles, alongside with my overall rating. There's also another point. These are my short-term looks maxing recommendations. Usually I'd write seven to eight points on looks maxing here, but I honestly don't have any looks maxing advice for you. Seems you've done it all already. Everything is right from the level of stubble to the haircut. So at the time I had a lower haircut and also I had way lower stubble. And honestly, I feel like I can go back and forth. I can have, you know, low stubble, beard, doesn't matter. I tend to pull off both well in my experience and I still tend to do very well with the ladies despite having low, no facial hair. Facial hair really doesn't matter, right? Um, so yeah, that was overall my facial analysis and rating by Wheat Waffles. Once again, I do think it's more important on your real life experience with women and how women actually react to you. But sometimes I do think it is good to get an objective standpoint of how you look and what you can fix. And that's what looks matching is all about. I'm not one of those red pill content creators that just preaches game, charisma, confidence. No, no. I do believe that looks are very important, that it holds a lot of weight in your dating success. But once again, I don't think it's everything because once you do reach a look level of like, let's say seven, eight, Tyrone, tier, whatever, you'll start to deal with other problems that you didn't realize and that's when more game, charisma, and other stuff start to be more important. But obviously there's levels to it, right? A really fat, overweight guy will stand no chance on dating apps until he loses that weight. That has to do with his looks. So with that being said, I do believe everybody should be looks maxing to the fullest amount of potential. And if you need help with that, or if you wanna know some of my tips and tricks, definitely be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Digital Romeo Mentorship because we actually have a big section on looks maxing and some of the tools and hacks and the things that I've done in order to improve my looks over the years because once again, it is important. So go ahead, tap that link down below and click to apply and I'll hop on a free call with you. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.